Extinction is a fact of evolution. Many species throughout history have died out completely, leaving behind only fossil, skeleton or stuffed remains. Extinction has become a bit of a dirty word, but in the big picture, extinction is a normal part of the evolution of life. Of course, extinction is bad news for the species that dies out. Uh, but in the long history of life, we can see now that extinction is a very normal part of, of the evolution and diversification of life. It is thought that 245 million years ago, almost 96% of all species suddenly died out. 65 million years ago, two-thirds of all species, including the dinosaurs, became extinct. Environmental changes and a huge asteroid are two of the reasons offered for these mass extinctions. When a species becomes extinct, it opens up a space for some other species to evolve. Man took advantage of this evolutionary opening to take the lead ahead of many rival species. Early humans lived in a world of unprecedented richness, surrounded by a huge range of large animals. As they spread across the world, these early humans brought fire and agriculture and hunting. At the same time as they were spreading, many of the large animals died out. For example, in North America, 57 species disappeared, including the saber-toothed cats, the giant sloths, and the mammoths. Will man one day face the threat of his own extinction? Or have we developed the skills to put that day on hold? We are now so confident in our knowledge of how life works that we can interfere and alter evolutionary processes. In the future, sex and reproduction are going to change enormously. The reproductive technology that is being developed now, that we've got it already, things like artificial insemination, in vitro fertilization, nuclear transfer, cloning, that is going to change the way people have sex and the way they reproduce. Not only can we procure our births, we also have the ability to stave off death by controlling disease. Through global vaccination programs, major diseases have started to disappear. There came to be this sense that one could actually set up a timetable for eradication. There was to be no tuberculosis on planet Earth. Um, the first one on the timetable was smallpox, and indeed we succeeded. We eradicated smallpox in 1977, and that was a tremendous victory for humanity. 